All right. So, I don't know what part of the blog is for the thing. I've been doing this for days. I finally, just now, finished getting everything off of everything that is not on the NAS on the NAS. This is a one terabyte. This is a one terabyte. This is a Samsung 1.5. And these are the four five terabyte Sam Seagates that I bought when my shit hit the fan and I lost everything on my hard drive array. Hard drives are over there under a blanket. Everything that I could recover off of those hard drives was recovered onto these four drives. Actually, it was recovered onto these three drives. So I took 22 gigs of space and I somehow lost enough to fit it on three fives with a little bit of space to spare. And then this other five I used for rebuilding a movie library and music library and all that shit that got lost was on this one or one of these. I don't know which one. It doesn't matter at the time. Point is, I didn't wipe these. They're not empty. I copied everything off of all of them and I brought it to the NAS. Now, the way I've set it up is I made a folder called Sort Me Folder and in this folder, which does not need to be giant icons, I've got the names of every hard drive that I've copied over from. So the one and a half story, the one terabyte green drive, the two, the two drives, actually one hard drive that didn't fail was an anime hard drive, just anime on it. And I put that to the videos folder, that's now I have a giant, that's done. I don't have to sort that. These other folders are just a hodgepodge of shit, which is how you live without a giant NAS. You live in a hodgepodge. Oh, by the way, there was a DSM update. And it happened while I was sleeping at 4 a.m. And I had a file operation copying things over. And it was interrupted and continued because TerraCopy is amazing. And so it finished without a, without a hiccup. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine things. Nine folders. I'm not going to count downloaded pictures. That was this weird one that I moved in there. But my home theater PC in the other room, the 500 gig Seagate drive that's in that, I basically dumped here. So that can be used for temporary downloads of torrents and things and then moved over to the NAS when it's done because that machine's still going to have that job. I, I don't like the... I haven't used it yet, but everyone tells me that the interface for the torrent application doesn't have the right amounts of encryption and blah, 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 blah. We'll find out. That'll be obviously future part of this. So the internal five, that, that computer in the other room, which I'm pointing at a wall, but you know what it looks like. That computer's got a solid state and a 500 gig. And the 500 gig has now been basically made, it's been cleared out. Solid state will do its thing. My gaming computer, which is almost not visible back there, has an M2 solid state on the, on the motherboard, which is very fast, and a 500 gig that I plan to put Steam on. And uh, when everything went to shit, I have Steam went on it, and then everything else kept going on it. So I copied everything off, actually I moved everything off of that. Then I've got all the hard drives you saw behind me. So now the job's going to be taking this sort me folder and deleting it. Obviously not just deleting it, but sorting things out, coming in here. Okay, what do I got? Backups from people's computers I used to fix. Picture saves, home movies, that's gotta go into the movies folder. Go into this other one, I've got uh, the one and a half Samsung has desktop folder back, desktop folder backup copy too. Trust me, there's years of explanation of why that's named that. Cause it was a, it was a desktop folder cause of all the shit in your desktop I would dump it into a folder called desktop folder. And then I would made a backup of it, and then I made a copy of it, and this is the second copy of it. And literally, it's got th uh, everything I've ever downloaded from 2008 to 2016, and all sorts of other sorted things. Emma Watson's in here, uh, phone sync stuffs, and it's a very complicated folder. And I'm glad I pray to whatever gods are up there because it's, it's not one; it's probably multiple. Or we're in Westworld, and there are no gods. But whoever's watching out manage to keep this folder from getting corrupted because that would have pissed me off. I had two copies of it, this is, which is why it lived. Because I'm not dumb. Even though I was doing JBOD in my box, I had it on multi many places. Many places. And then there's a sorting folder because back in the day, on, my, on this poor little baby one and a half Samsung, hello, I attempted to do exactly what I'm doing now with a sort me folder then. So I have 
AMVs, apps, games, music, other personal pictures and video. And honest to God, I have no idea what's in any of them except for AMVs. Music, I know I had some weird, uh, someone made like a Top Gear torrent. Actually, here's all my MP3s. There you go, 47 gigs of MP3s. Two live crew. Two unlimited, 50 cent. Some ACDC, some After Hours, Alice in Chains, Andy Hunter, Audio Slave. You get my point. Actually, if I play this, what happens? Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 97. Wear sunscreen. All right, that works. Point is, now I gotta go through a folder called sorting and resort that folder called sorting into now my massive sorting. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details of that, but oh my God, will they be boring. And oh my God, will there be details. So yeah, it, it's basically just now, now's the work. Because I could have taken the stuff that was on these and just started sending it to the NAS, but I wanted to get it all on the NAS now. Because now I get to pop up uh, yes, click that, click, well that doesn't get clicked on anything, actually I'm going to need both to be on the NAS, so let's do that, and then let's do backup, alright, so basically, I use XY Explorer, I don't use Windows Explorer, you could do this in Windows Explorer, it's not a thing, I actually paid for XY, I paid for a system, for something, it's amazing, it's amazing. And I'm gonna have, I have left and right tabs. I'm just gonna end up going, okay, this is the sort me folder. What am I sorting out? I'm sorting out the Western Digital one terabyte. What do we got in here? Games, old, broken, old 100. I've got Pocket Tanks Deluxe, the Interstate 76 Arsenal I got off of GOG. I got my original Fraps. I got Armageddon, which was like the Tron game where your little motors, it's old stuff. So where do I sort that? I don't even have a folder set up. Cause I've got audio, images, Video, audio images, video. That's it. Where did this? Where does this crap go? I have to make another folder, and I don't want to call it like other or you know, unsortable or because this belongs somewhere. It just doesn't belong in video images or audio. I really hate that there's these folders. By the way, I'm gonna have to. Because they're all lowercase. The ones I made it are all caps. Because I figured they're important enough master folders that they need to have caps. And then the actual NAS app decided, oh, we're just going to make these home and homes and music folder. Because I use the music app. And it makes the music folder, even though I'm not putting any music in the music folder. And I can't put my music in the... Because it's not just music, there's just audio. That isn't music, that I don't really want to have it enqueued. So I made an audio folder that's going to hold all my music, but now the music folder is there, and if I delete that music folder, the music app doesn't work. But if I rename that music folder to audio, another music folder is created, and it's just like, I want to kill myself. This is the OCD part of me. I may have to find... Wait a second, I could hide those. I can hide those on the disk station. I'm pretty sure if I like properties on this. Mm-hmm, permissions, yes. Full control, advanced, disable directory browsing. Disable file downloading. Disable directory browsing. I don't know if that's gonna make it hide though. I'll figure out a way to hide the folders on me. If I just don't have to see them, if I just don't have to see them, I'll be happy. Having to see them bothers me. It's kind of like seeing your System32 folder. You know, I have to get in there occasionally, but I don't want to see it all the time. Well, that's a bad example. And Windows, I want to see everything. But if I'm, I want to have four or three, three or four folders. I've got a Z Downloads folder now, by the way, also, where all the downloads of my entire existence, as as we go on in the future here. Can I close that? The widget. Oh, I'll get to the uh, amount of space that I've used. That's way too big. Yeah. So Frankie goes to Hollywood, the Meme Queen. I think these are basically when anything gets downloaded, whether it's be pictures, like a big group of pictures, or movies, TV shows, all legal. All that stuff gets put to one folder here on my NAS. And then I'm my job again is to remove, delete everything from the Z, move it to where it belongs. So come here and click video. Okay, is that a TV show? It goes to shows. Pop it over, move it to show. Then gone. 
So this is there's a management aspect to this. It's like one of those simulator games. It'll be fun. I promise it won't be fun. It's fun for me. So, what am I looking at? What am I looking at here? Yeah, that's size. It's an entire Psy album that's, uh, I'm, I'm Linkin Park. Okay, gotta sort that in music. So that's where I am right now. Where I am currently is I'm done moving things to the NAS. How much space is left in the NAS? I've used 19.3 terabytes. Rem keeping only 6 terabytes. So, not bad. 74% is full. It's set 50 terabytes of space reduced to 20... Well, I can tell you right now, 25.6, 26.3 terabytes of space because double redundancy and every time I mention that I've got one of these NAS and I have 10 terabyte drives every single person I say that to says oh god are you doing double redundancy you better do double redundancy because it doesn't matter that it's Seagate and that they you know were unreliable God could put out hard drives God brand Jesus edition could put them out and if they're 10 terabyte people are gonna be like I don't trust them I and you know what it doesn't matter if HGST or Western Digital, or Seagate, or Maxter comes back from the dead, or IBM, I remember IBM drives, they were great, they actually said the actual amount of space. These would be 9.1 terabyte drives if IBM sold them, because they were the best. I don't care if any of them come out with the 10 terabyte, and the, by the way, 12 terabyte Seagate drives, but um, I don't trust them, and the process of rebuilding is what would kill it. Okay, one died, fine, take it out, put a new one in, hit rebuild, the amount of effort that is required on all the drives to rebuild one, because I don't think there's a speed limit, would have a great chance of just destroying another drive in the middle of a rebuild. And guess what? If you have single redundancy, your whole shit's done. So double redundancy, basically, someone has to fire a shotgun point blank at that NAS to make it lose data. Or it has to fill with water, or it has to be stolen. Please don't steal my drive. Please, I need it. I need that to live. But, oh... Getting back to this array, 26 terajigas is what I have. Now, these five terabyte drives, I have four of them. What I'm planning on doing, wipe them clean, sort out my stuff, put a rudimentary copy of things on here, I'll have to split movies across two, music and pictures on another, and then other on another. Get a, get a basic copy of that. Bring this over to my friend's house. Set up BT Sync or Roselio Sync. And have it sync. See, I don't know if I'm going to be able to split things up and have it sync. I can't, I can't, I don't want to software raid these. Then it's real unreliable. But every once in a while, I just want to have a, a pretty good recent copy of my stuff. Just sent to his house. And if I put a big, if I fill these up here, the bulk of it's not going to have to move over the internet. That's my big thing. It's like, all right, yeah, it'll sync at a few megs a second across. You know, this was doing, th these were downloading, by the way, USB 3 through an anchor four port passive hub through that computer, through the network into NAS at 112 megs a second. So they were just done, done, done. The only one that was slow was the one that always gave me issues, backup one. That's you. You're the only ones that the label stuck on and it stayed. Yeah, this one had part, part where it was like, oh, it's going to take 22 days to copy? And I'm like, oh, kill yourself. Well, don't, but finish copying, then I'm going to kill you. So basically, I want to have these be off-site backup. Because now that I have NAS, even though I'm getting close to, like, capacity, which I told the woman from Synology that, look, I have lots of stuff. There's nothing to do with even my day-to-day -day daily video use. That's going to go up. That 74% will become 94% in four months. And then she's going to get an email and I'll say, hey, you know that expansion you have? Let's talk. But for the very, very, very important irreplaceable things, I want to have ex external off-site backup. If my friend's willing to keep these around, he's got like four computers. Just plug it into one. Let me set up Roselio Sync. I can log into my thing. I can set up Roselio Sync to go back and forth, maybe four or five different... That's what I'd have to do. I'd set up four or five different syncs. 
have a movie. Once the movies are on here and the movies are on there, it's not going to sync those. It's going to say, oh, are they all good? Good. And I'm going to download one and it's going to go whoop, and it's going to be over there. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I'm not bothering his internet, that should be fine. And I could set it for a schedule. I don't have to have it run all the time. You know, four in the morning, who cares? So that, <clears throat> yeah, is where I am. I am three quarters full and have a lot of work ahead of me. Because there's, there's now, what I've done is I, I've, all my computers that I do music on, which is, have you guessed, all my computers, that 500 gig drive internally in there, I could just delete all of the music from it. Because, well, because I don't take that one out anymore. That laptop is stationary. It's just my review unit. It's Windows 7. Everything there works on it. I'm happy. Going to Windows 10 is a little less happy. That laptop there, that's Windows 10. That's got a one terabyte drive. That's got plenty of room to hold all my music in flack. So that's like my emergency backup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up setting up on my NAS in the other room, a completely neat and organized copy of my music, and then having it BT sync or Roselio sync to my laptop. So if I add new, if I get new music, put it on NAS, that laptop gets turned on. It says, Hey, you've gotten sync and it's going to sync. And then it's going to have new music and everything's going to be happy. Everyone's going to be happy, but I don't have to have music on my gaming computer, on my home theater PC. I haven't had music on my home theater PC since I built my gaming computer. So I'm playing over the network. So now it's just, everything's going to play off of the NAS. Except, and it's including that. So I'll have, because I've had to actually limit that because I have real close to 500 gigs and that's only 500 gigs, which means it's 460 gigs, which means I'm, you know, deleting every picture and thumbnail and, you know, to try to save space. And I, I think I didn't move over a couple of the albums just because I'm probably not going to test with those. So now that will just get fed the entire list from net, remote network. Till next time.